Are you wondering who in the heck this is? Wow, first of all, <laughs> my neighbor. Um, uh, it's a little weird for me to be shooting a vlog with kind of like ratty hair today. Um, haven't shot a vlog in forever, and I know. Um, I'll reference this in a moment. Can you see all that black and blue? Um, have a lot to reference, actually, but I'm not going to try to do it all in this video. So, yeah, I haven't shot a vlog in like two and a half months, I think. Um, to be honest with you, I've kind of gotten to the point, um, I have to look and see when I shot my last video about what the time it was. Um, I just started to get, obviously, uh, crazy business, crazy busy with the business. Um, and I was trying to just give myself a break on a lot of stuff. So, um, you know, I just had kind of, kind of gotten to the point where I was like, I, I don't have time for this. I don't have time to shoot and upload. And I don't even do anything special, you guys. I'm not like, that's weird how when I get close, it does that like autofocus thing. Um, but I don't do anything special to edit my videos, obviously. Wait till I tell you about this. Can you guys see the extent of this black and blue? And then the injury is up here. Can't see it as much on the back, but. Um, anyway, all that said, I kind of just resigned myself that like, hey, maybe I just don't have time to shoot videos anymore. And then a lot of you guys were so nice and you were writing me and some of you were a little bit more confrontational than others. <laughs> Um, but I'm back. So, and I'm back in A, not only am I back doing one video, I'm going to get to this in a second, um, but I'm actually um, hoping and planning to do, um, I love this song, obviously, it's my phrase, you know how I was saying, I owned it, and I said it before the song was out, I'm just saying that, I didn't start saying that because of this song, um, you guys know I've always said that. Um, just putting that out there. I founded Pearl Jam as well. Um, here I am all over the place as usual. Did you just see that auto focus thing that just happened? I don't know if it's, if you guys see it. Oh, maybe it's just the brightness from the refrigerator. Um, maybe I should sit up here and block that glare. Um, okay. So two and a half minutes of rambling and making absolutely no sense. So all that said, I was not vlogging for a while. It's crazy busy. This is a very significant year uh, for my business, for Fit Potential. We've made a, a lot of big decisions. Um, suffice it to say, you know, um, running a startup is um, what I've heard. And even, I don't want to say, I don't want to use the word worse, but to say, you know, when you hear people talking about, you know, for some reason that made me look like I had no neck. Um, when people talk about startup life and they're like, you know, you get no sleep, it's stressful, you work around the clock. Um, yeah, it's, it's like that. And then on top of that, you kind of don't pay yourself hardly any money the first few years, two or three years. So um, I was at that point where I'm like, it's time to take this here. Um, and you have to make a lot of, sorry, my biceps are busting out here. Um, I literally have to stretch. I don't wear sleeves a lot because uh, honestly, to be honest with you, honestly, to be honest with you, I'm not making any sense. Um, the guns usually make something like this right up and then that pisses me off. Um, so, one, missed you guys. Haven't been shooting videos because I have just been focused on some really big stuff. But B, um, I am going to be shooting videos. Obviously, today is the first day I'm starting, and we're going to be doing. Um, I've committed with with Whitney and Laura, who you'll understand who all these people are in a minute. Um, we're going to be starting a series. Now, I don't know if I'm going to keep my own personal blog up. I haven't blogged there either in months and months and months at kellyalexa.com. Um, I mean, it's just. It's one of those things that with the way that my daily schedule is right now, my, ab my ability to commit to shooting videos and writing the way I used to, uh, it's just not happening. I don't, you guys, I'm sorry if I'm, if you can catch me, I'm totally so, 
you know, when I shoot videos, I have this tripod thing here and I have the camera that looks back at me. For some reason today, it's making me look like, like I have no neck. <laughs> so if, if I keep catching myself, maybe it's just my traps. Is that what I'm seeing? Is it just like my traps are up there and it's making me look like I have no neck? I don't know what's going on. I'm also not used, you know, growing the bangs out. The bangs right now are like here. So I tend to want them off my face. So I'm experimenting with this and I, I'm experimenting with how I get more volume back there. So I'm glad you guys could be in for all of that. Anyway, let's go back to focus. Bring it on down home, Kelly. So haven't, <laughs> all right, here's what we're gonna do. Last five minutes, this is gonna be a 10 minute vlog. Last five minutes, I'm gonna tell you what the, uh, what the update is, how I hurt my hand. Can you see all the black and blue? And uh, what, what this new series is gonna be because I'm going to do, I have a feeling, uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll do one post a week on my blog and one post will be on Fit Flential. I haven't quite figured this out, but we're going to have, so, and, and let's see if I can give you, so you can look her up um, on Instagram. Un, un momento, por favor. Uh, un momento. Hold on. Good gracious, users. So, you're gonna wanna follow this person. Whitney Jones AZ, I'll get to that in a second. But, um, a couple of things. I, in the past couple months, few months, um, I've had some, some uh, trips and some traveling experiences. And um, one of the things that's happened how do I say this? I'm trying to lead up to, Whitney Jones is, is now running up and, and managing me, uh, managing my training, managing my diet, managing my supplements. And one of the things as she and I started talking about working together, part of the reason I was drawn to her, once you look her up, you're gonna, be, you're gonna understand. She has an amazing, just an outstanding physique. She competes in fitness. Her quads are the best quads I've ever seen on anybody in my life. I'm obsessed with her quads. Um, but I was more drawn to her because, specifically for me, because you guys know, it, the past nine months for me have been really frustrating with getting injured, um, kind of working with a bunch of people that, you know, I wasn't really working with anybody full time. I, and and I, this is again, not to blame anybody else but to just say it is what it is. I was getting guidance, but really kind of part-time guidance from a lot of people, which is almost like, you know, part-time effort equals nothing. When you really aren't on a full track and you really don't have somebody, the right type of person to be monitoring, you know, in that case, early on it was my injury. My injury was misdiagnosed. Um, so I was doing the wrong stretching and the wrong working out program and I didn't know what to do for my diet. There's just been so much of me being in limbo for about six to nine months. And I take full responsibility as well for the fact that I didn't know enough to, I don't wanna say that. I was not taking enough initiative to take care of myself. And a big lesson that I have learned personally that applies to you know, your fitness life, your relationships, your work, your family life, whatever is, you know, you have to take the initiative. You have to do so. You can't just sit and complain about something and you know, feel sorry for yourself. And you might not think that you do that. You know, I certainly know I've done that in the past, but I wouldn't think I'd be doing that now. I wouldn't think that I'd be like feeling sorry for myself and being a little bit too much of, I'm rambling today, having a little bit too much of an inactive approach. I've had too much of an inactive approach, been too passive the past six to nine months. And, and not realizing, that's why I always say you have to track time. Time passes and you don't even realize it. All of a sudden you're like, three weeks. Three weeks, I said I was gonna start on February 1st and it's February 28th or February 21st. All that kind of stuff. But the past couple of months in particular, um, you know, I had started to talk to Whitney and this, su this subject of, you know, women who work crazy hours, have a high amount of stress, have any kind of hormonal balance issues, like that whole topic came up and she had said a lot of her clients have it and it led into a lot of discussions of things about myself that 
I've never addressed uh, or that I've known in the back of my head, but I never really paid attention to it. Um, I think I told you guys that, um, you know, with regards to hormonal balance, I probably mentioned this like last, end of last year, that I was starting to, men, sorry, this is going to bore you, and I'm already at 10 minutes, so clearly this is going to be 15 minutes. Um, but I had mentioned that my cycle was coming like every two weeks, every two weeks. This started, so in addition to getting injured, I was also on flow with showing up every two weeks and staying for eight or nine days. So it was, I was starting to get concerned towards the very end of last year, of like what is going on with my body in that, you know, there's like four days that I'm not having on flow stay at my house. That's a lot of on flow staying at your house, if you know what I mean. So. That was happening, and I wasn't taking it seriously enough. You know, I, I, I called my OB or my gyno, whatever you call them, and I made an appointment. Now, just a month, a little over a month ago, they put me, I have not been on the pill, and one of the things that, that obviously, when I went in and I, I had um, an annual, I had an exam or whatever, they found some cysts, is that right? No, I think they call them polyps. I think that's pretty much the same thing. Um, on my uterus or my ovaries, one of those things, you know, that makes children. So they said I didn't need to have any kind of surgery for it. They were going to put me on a low dose uh, pill, which I wanted to go back on the pill anyway to regulate Aunt Flo showing up at my house. So they put me on this. There's a reason I'm showing you guys all of this. Um, all of my life when I've been on the pill before, I was on Ortho Novo 777. So they put me on this and I've been on it I think I'm on my second package of pills, so probably two months, I think. Um, and I got home from, what trip was it? I think I was in Dallas, and then I, um, I, I went on a vacation, a mini vacation in Miami. And I was having headaches a lot when I was in Miami, and Kelly was giving me crap about it. I'll talk about this, all this stuff more in detail. We'll break it down. Uh, but I've missed you guys so much. I feel like I have to catch up, but I have to give you like a, a teaser of what's to come. Um, so I was getting a lot of headaches when I was in um, Florida, and I didn't, <laughs> Kelly, if you're watching this, I know you're going to die laughing, but Kelly was making fun of me and saying, oh, it's because you drink Diet Coke. Um, and I'm like, you know, behind her back, like, um, but, you know, I got a lot more headaches while I was down there, and I didn't tell her because I knew that she would just say, I told you, you shouldn't be drinking that diet soda. And I just didn't want to hear it. And then I came home and I had headaches. And then, you know, I was having conversations several nights, and I'm like, you know what? I think I've had a headache every day for like three weeks. So all of this stuff started to click in my head, and I was talking to Whitney, and, you know, she was asking me, you know, hey, if I'm going to design a plan for you, because one of the things I've realized the past nine months is I've either had a diet plan or a workout plan, or maybe kind of a workout plan and a little bit of a diet plan, but I, I just didn't feel like I was actually working one-on-one -on -one with somebody. Again, this is not to blame anybody else. Um, but I knew that, like, wow, suddenly six to nine months have gone by, and am I where I want to be? No. Do I feel like I have enough knowledge to do exactly what I need to do? Like, do I know? Do I know exactly what I should eat? Do I know exactly what I should be training? Do I know exactly how much cardio to do? No. I just have a lot of input from a lot of people saying, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. And I was utterly lost. And I know that what I had made the decision was, I'm going to hire one person who is going to analyze everything. Whitney and I started talking, and of course I worship her physique, but I also connected with her personally on many things, and, and a lot of that too was she was actually asking me a lot of stuff, not only about the birth control they put me on, but on the spironolactone that, that I have been put on for, it's 2014? I've been on this since 2009. Now, I'm gonna get into this in another video because I think basically everything I started to look into and go, huh, you know, I just take pills because doctors have given it to me because I trusted them for a certain symptom. And I've told you guys, they diagnosed me with perimenopause when they gave me this, and it's an anti-androgen, and I've just taken it, and they said to me, you'll probably take this, you know, for the rest of your life. Well, I started talking to Whitney, she goes, this is really bad for you, and you're on the maximum dosage. She's like, bad long-term side effects, it's probably why you have gained weight during, you know, the past five or six years, and she said, I just want you to know, 
we should talk to your doctor, let's get an extensive line of blood work done because you know, if you don't know what all of your thyroid levels are, where your testosterone is, where your estrogen is, where your, all this stuff that I've heard people talk about, but I'm like, yeah, I'm sure I'm probably hormonally imbalanced. I'm sure I've got cortisol levels high because I'm stressed all the time and I never sleep. And here I am taking Excedrin PM every single night to fall asleep and thinking that's not gonna have health effects on me. And all of these things just kind of became so ridiculously clear to me the past several weeks, probably the past several months that I was like, I am one messed up machine. So here's the deal. This is my preview to you guys. Um, I'm at 15 minutes. I don't even know what this song is. And it's in my iPod. Um, all that said, I have had week one of my first new training program with Whitney. It's wonderful because I am, I have a training partner. My friend Laura, who you'll meet, should be on a lot of these videos. We have committed to each other to meet each other every day at 5 o'clock. We're starting off the first month. We're training at her home gym, which has just about everything you can imagine. It's how I injured myself. I'll explain that in my next video. Um, but we are meeting every single day at 5. And you guys know, the one thing that has been sorely missing from all of my uh, activity the past six months has been my lifting. And not because I don't want to lift, but because... Part of me, it was just I didn't know what to do, so I didn't go. And I would get my cardio done and go, oh, I'll do my lifting. I'll have a kick-ass week next week, and it just didn't happen. Six days, people. Give me a fist pump, even though you can't really give me a fist pump. And this would hurt if you really gave me a fist pump right now. But we did six days this week. Um, I got, we're doing hit for cardio only. I am. She's doing, um, I don't think she does as much cardio as I do, but hit only sessions. Um, and uh, six days of really heavy lifting um, a week. And then uh, this is week two. Um, so I will explain a little bit more about my program. It is designed just for me, but I will let you link up to Whitney because she does create um, very in-depth and, cust and customized programs for folks. But the bigger picture is we are going to start doing a series because I know I'm not the only woman out there that is utterly confused about what we can and can't should and shouldn't be doing for hormonal balance, how to identify if you have hormonal imbalance, and furthermore, how to maybe not be on something like this that can not only make you maybe gain weight, have headaches all the time, um, but also just be bad for your long-term health. Um, I had no idea. I was just going to keep maxing out taking two pills a day. Now I'm like, how the hell can I get off this as soon as possible? And you can't just stop cold turkey, people. If you're taking anything like this, you've got to wean off of it. Um, I am going to get a blood work up done, but I had put something on my Facebook, and I said, are any other women up there, out there of any other ages having weird symptoms that your doctor can't diagnose? Or do you know you have some kind of hormonal imbalance and you have questions about more natural therapies? What I'm going to look into are natural uh, hormone creams um, and natural herb solutions that are not like this, okay? So for the first time, I'm paying attention to things I should be pay have paid attention to years and years ago. But you guys get to benefit from it, so how's that? So follow Whitney um, on Instagram. Obviously, you can look up her website as well. Follow her on Twitter. She's outstanding, just a, a crazy fun woman, but also outrageously talented. And I will tell you more in my next video. And gosh, didn't I say 10 minutes? 